Yeah, and when I talked to you today about doing a podcast, you you mentioned that you wanted to talk about changing identities. Yeah, um, so I think that's something that's been on my mind a lot recently and kind of as a teacher as well. You know, it's something that we see a lot both with ourselves, but also with our learners as they come to class. Yeah, so just to get us started, um, you know, down to the real basics, how do you define someone's identity? Uh, so, uh, that's a giant question, Jeremiah. Yeah, and I, I know, you know, I think there's a lot of commonly accepted things that are somebody's identity, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, race, political orientation, gender, age, social class, um, you know, the, the list goes on. Uh, but if I think if you had to, if you had to boil it down to a core concept. Mm-hmm. So um, I would say, first off, it's not a great idea for me to define someone else's identity, but I can talk about identity itself. Yeah, 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 of course. And for that, I would say that... Um, you know, it to me, it's the stories, really, that we tell ourselves about who we are and also the interpretation that others have of those stories, both the things that we tell ourselves and kind of walk around embodying, but also uh, the things that are kind of, um, you know, physical and inherent from our appearance. That's really good. I like that. I, I feel like it kind of gave you a hardball question to start, mm-hmm. but that's that's really good and concise. Um, what do you think are some benefits to being more aware of your own identity? Not you specifically, but mm-hmm. anyone out there. Yeah, sure. Um, so kind of in general, um, I think that it makes life easier in a lot of ways because... Um, you know how you can or you will react to different situations or stimuli. So, you know, um, it may be difficult for you to be in social situations. And when you're aware of that, you can plan around it, giving yourself a little bit more time to prepare before or time to um, relax and recover afterwards. Um, But it's also, you know, very relevant for us, for students, Um, as you're aware of your learning style or your situation, you can, um, in the same way, prepare for class, um, consider what activities might be beneficial and talk to your teacher about those. Or, um, you know, also kind of give some ideas about what would be most helpful for you to learn, right? Because a lot of our students are in situations where they need immediate assistance with some particular topic and Mm -hmm. you know if they can come to class and tell the teacher hey i have uh, my daughter's having a surgery soon i need to be able to go to the doctor and talk to them and understand those different kinds of things um then they can advocate for themselves and take care of that yeah that's awesome and so this is originally i think what you had sent me changing identities specifically Mm -hmm. And how that plays in to what we do here. I know an example you brought up is a lot of times our students, they'll graduate from their classes and we made a lot a lot of times, but sometimes they'll they'll come back and teach or they'll they'll come back and volunteer. Um, and I think it's important when that happens to be aware of your identity that you're no longer a student, but you were a student and that can inform your practices and decisions and stuff like that yeah um uh to that i would offer a small clarification that for um me like one of my core beliefs uh, about education is that we're all students all the time right so got it you know just because i'm a teacher or become a because a student moves into that role and becomes a teacher like they're still learning about that situation they're still gaining experience um, from all of their students and their experience as an educator, but um, yeah. 
Go ahead. I love that point you brought up because I think it's important to clarify the difference between identity and something like a role mm-hmm. or, or to be even more specific, a job. Right, exactly. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. That's an interesting point because while a lot of the times, you know, when I, when I start teaching a class, I make it very clear that, yes, my role here is teacher, but this is a co-learning environment. So we're all talking together and um, finding out new ways to express ourselves and learning about each other and kind of um, colored in by those different uh, pieces of information. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I, I say at the end of every episode, I wish we had more time to talk. But again, Alec, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me today. Yeah, no problem. That was great. All right. And listeners, thank you for tuning in. This was, a, this was an episode of the C2C podcast uh, coming out every Friday. Thank you for listening. Thank you.